Did you know that some countries offer unique incentives for marrying their women? Fascinating, isn't it? This might seem like an odd concept, but it's a reality in some parts of the world. It's a blend of tradition, cultural norms, and sometimes even government policies. These incentives take various forms and can be quite appealing. Some countries offer financial benefits, others provide housing assistance, and some even offer citizenship perks. It's a fascinating cross-section of how different cultures view marriage and the role it plays in society. These incentives aren't just about the money or the perks, though. They're often tied to bigger issues like population growth, maintaining cultural heritage, or even addressing gender imbalances. So, this is not just about the enticing incentives, it's about understanding the cultural fabric that weaves these incentives into existence. So, pack your curiosity and get ready for a unique journey. Stay tuned as we unravel these enticing incentives one by one. Let's set off to South Korea, a country offering intriguing benefits to those marrying their women. South Korea, the land of morning calm, is renowned for its vibrant culture, technological advancements, and now, its welcoming approach towards foreigners marrying their women. This modern yet traditional country is encouraging international marriages with an array of exciting incentives, making it a compelling destination for loveseekers worldwide. One of the most significant incentives is a robust financial assistance program. South Korea has recognized the challenges that come with moving to a new country, and to help ease this transition, the government is providing financial aid to foreign spouses. This assistance comes in handy for settling down, covering essential expenses, and even starting a small business. Next up, let's talk about housing. Housing is a fundamental need, and South Korea ensures this need is met for its foreign sons and daughters-in-law. The country offers housing subsidies that can be applied towards rent, or even towards purchasing a home. This thoughtful gesture is a testament to South Korea's commitment to make their foreign spouses feel at home. But wait, there's more. South Korea understands that language can be a significant barrier in a new country, and to overcome this, they offer free Korean language courses for foreign spouses. These courses are not only about learning a new language but also about understanding the rich Korean culture. They are designed to help foreign spouses integrate into society, make new friends, and feel more at home in South Korea. South Korea's approach goes beyond just incentives. It's about welcoming foreign spouses into their society, providing them with a sense of belonging, and nurturing a multicultural environment. It's about making South Korea a home, away from home for these individuals. In a world that's increasingly global, it's heartening to see countries like South Korea taking steps to embrace diversity and promote international harmony. These incentives not only make South Korea a desirable destination for marriage but also reflect the country's open and inclusive attitude. Surely South Korea's welcoming approach to foreigners is hard to resist. Next, we travel to the land of the rising sun, where rural romance is rewarded. Japan, a nation known for its bustling metropolises and high-tech industries, has a softer, more tranquil side. The rural areas with their traditional charm and serene landscapes are just as endearing as the neon-lit city streets. But these idyllic regions are facing a dwindling population problem. The government, in an innovative way, has found love to be the solution. In an effort to balance the urban-rural population disparity, the Japanese government is offering incentives to those willing to marry women from these rural areas. This is not just a romantic gesture, but a strategic move to revive these dwindling communities. The incentives are quite appealing. One of them is a government grant that you receive upon marrying a woman from a rural area. This grant, which is a substantial sum, is meant to help you start your new life together. In addition to this there are also subsidies available. These subsidies can be used for various purposes ranging from starting a new business to covering the costs of raising children. It's like a little financial cushion, supporting you, as you embark on this journey of love and commitment. But the perks don't stop there. You can also get free housing. Imagine living in a charming, traditional Japanese house in the countryside, surrounded by picturesque landscapes without worrying about rent or mortgage. It's like a dream come true for those who yearn for a simpler, quieter life. And let's not forget the tax benefits. The government offers significant tax deductions for those who choose to marry and settle in these rural areas. This is yet another financial advantage that makes rural romance an attractive proposition. So, if you're single, adventurous and have a soft spot for the Japanese countryside, this might be the opportunity you've been waiting for. You not only get to experience the charm and tranquility of rural Japan, but you also get to be part of a unique initiative to revive these beautiful communities. 
Japan's rural romance incentives are not only unique but also a strategic move to balance their population density. Heading to the frosty terrains of Russia, where marriage incentives are part of their population-boosting strategy. Russia, with its rich history, diverse culture, and vast landscapes, is not just a destination for adventurous travelers. It's also a country that's actively encouraging marriages, especially with foreign partners. This initiative is more than just a cultural exchange. It's a strategic move aimed at addressing Russia's declining population issue. So, how does Russia sweeten the deal for those willing to tie the knot with their citizens? Well, for starters, it's all about the money. The Russian government offers cash rewards to couples who decide to get hitched. This sum, which can be quite substantial, is meant to set the newlyweds on a solid financial footing, helping them kickstart their lives together. But it's not just about instant cash. Tax benefits are another part of the package. Couples can look forward to enjoying a range of tax deductions and exemptions. This can make a significant difference in the couple's overall financial health, freeing up funds for other important aspects of life, such as raising children or investing in their future. And speaking of future, housing is a crucial part of it. In many parts of the world, owning a home can be a distant dream for young couples. However, Russia is working to make this dream a reality for those who marry its citizens. The government offers subsidized housing, making it easier for couples to secure a home. This can be especially beneficial for foreigners who might otherwise find it challenging to navigate the local real estate market. In conclusion, Russia's strategy isn't just about boosting population numbers, it's about creating a supportive environment for couples, an environment where love can bloom amidst the frosty terrains. It's about building stronger families, fostering community ties, and ensuring a brighter future for the country. Clearly, Russia's marriage incentives are an attempt to address their declining population issue. Finally, we land in the Lion City, Singapore, where pro-family incentives are the norm. In this bustling city-state, a strong emphasis on family values is not just a cultural nuance, but a state policy. Here, marrying a Singaporean woman comes with a host of benefits designed to foster a robust family culture. One of the most significant incentives is the housing grant scheme. Singapore, known for its high cost of living, provides substantial housing grants to newly married couples to help them get a head start on their journey together. These grants can be used to offset the cost of public housing, making homeownership a more achievable dream for young couples. Now let's talk about tax rebates. In Singapore, the government rewards married couples with tax rebates that can amount to a considerable sum over the years. These rebates are structured in such a way that the more children a couple has, the larger the tax rebate a clear indication of Singapore's push for larger families. But it doesn't stop there. Singapore understands the vital role of childcare in a working couple's life. The government offers a range of childcare subsidies to help ease the financial burden on parents. These subsidies are available to all parents of Singaporean children, and they vary based on factors like family income and the type of childcare center. What's more, there are also policies that encourage fathers to play an active role in raising their children. Paternity leave is a statutory benefit in Singapore, allowing fathers to spend quality time with their newborns without the worry of work commitments. In essence, Singapore's pro-family incentives are not just about financial benefits. They are a holistic approach to promoting family life, a testament to the nation's commitment to nurturing a robust family culture. From housing grants to tax rebates and childcare subsidies, these incentives are designed to support families at every stage of their journey. Singapore's pro-family incentives are a testament to their commitment to nurturing a robust family culture. Well, that was quite a journey, wasn't it? We've traversed across continents, uncovering the fascinating incentives some countries offer to those who marry their women. Starting in the vibrant heart of South Korea, we witnessed their love for foreigners, particularly visible in their generous marriage incentives. We then journeyed to the tranquil rural landscapes of Japan, where romance is nurtured by the government's supportive policies. We moved west to the vast expanse of Russia, where a call for a population boost has led to enticing incentives for those willing to tie the knot. Finally, we landed in the bustling city-state of Singapore, a place that champions pro-family incentives like no other. Each country with its own unique approach demonstrates a fascinating blend of culture, policy, and incentives. So there you have it, some countries that offer unique incentives for marrying their women. Fascinating, isn't it?